In this video, we're gonna cover five new features implemented into the release of iClone 8 that I believe will help you bring your characters and projects to life faster than ever. iClone is one of those programs that just makes your life easier. It has been the backbone of my micro short animations and it's where I exclusively do my character animation. iClone 8 released and things have only gotten better. So let's take a look at them. First off, you can now drag and drop props and animations directly into the viewport. You no longer have to go through the hassle of setting everything up in 3D Exchange. This is especially great if you're like me and you use Mixamo animations. On the fly, you can quickly drag and drop your files and see them update on the timeline. We also have improved motion correction and alignment tools to help string together animations that may not have originally flowed together. Whether the origin point was offset in order to be strung in a different set of animations or the rotation was just not consistent, using tools like the motion correction and the motion direction controller, we can quickly update and adjust these parameters. Blending various animations is also improved thanks to the bi-directional blending that enables further customization of how two animations come together. This allows for far smoother transitions over what we had available to us in the past. All of these combined means less time fighting the animations to achieve your desired results. This allows you to animate much more quickly, and with all that saved time, you can devote more of your energy into refining and polishing those animations. Although it seems simple, a new feature that opens up so many more possibilities is the option to mirror your animations. Have you ever just had that perfect animation and you wish you could just flip it? Well, now it's as simple as making the selection and bam, you're good to go. It's so simple, but it opens up a lot of creative opportunities. Another feature I absolutely fell in love with was the animation layering system. This essentially allows non-destructive editing of your animations. In the past, if you wanted to make modifications to an existing animation, you would have to sample its keyframes and essentially overwrite them with your changes. However, now you can stack multiple layers of adjustments, leaving the root animation intact. This means you can devote a layer to fixing the hands while another fixes the head. The benefit of making modifications this way is that if you make a mistake or change your mind of how you want the animation to look, these layers can then be deactivated or deleted individually, meaning no more starting from scratch. As someone who builds off a lot of pre-existing animations, this feature is huge. Finally, Reillusion has also spent a large amount of time and effort beefing up their reach target system. This is extremely helpful for cleaning up foot sliding, but also provides accurate locking of hands and feet when interacting with props and characters. For instance, having two characters interact can be pretty tricky, but now you can easily use the reach targets to lock onto the other character's armature. You can set the timing of when the reach target is active and when it releases, and even adjust the smoothness of the transition as necessary. Sure, you might need to make a few minor adjustments here and there, but it's so much faster than having to hand animate each frame individually. Of course, these are just five of the many new features that have been added into iClone 8. If you have any that I didn't cover that you're particularly excited about, put them in the comment section below and I'd love to hear from you. In the end, each of these features simply helps you get animating faster and with higher fidelity. I firmly believe in this software and wholeheartedly encourage anyone on the fence about upgrading to pull the trigger. Just like with Character Creator 4, once you start working with iClone 8, you'll wonder how you ever got by without it. I've done a similar top five features video about Character Creator 4, so if you wanna check that out, it'll be in the description below. But that's gonna do it for this video. We'll see you on the next LibreTask video.